Howdy, this is Plague and welcome back. Well, this isn't exactly the nether episode that I had expected to give you. Um, basically what happened is I recorded uh, going into the nether, uh, doing you know the first bunch of nether quartz and a whole bunch of exploring, found a, a nether fortress and whatnot. And ScreenFlow, the program I used to capture the video, decided to crap out, it wouldn't stop recording had to force quit um, based on suggestions from the forum and that basically lost all the footage from the previous session. So this is kind of an abbreviated uh, update as to what happened. Basically I've been in the nether for quite a while now. Uh, a couple of hours, like I said, it recorded about an hour's worth of, of traveling around the first time they got lost. Um, found another fortress that wasn't too far from the uh, spawn point um, or where the nether portal came out, um, but it wasn't really that big. There was a blaze spawner, which I haven't done anything with it on there, but there was no other, it wasn't big enough or whatever to have any nether wart. So then I started after the recording crapped out, I started exploring the nether and I went thousands of blocks in many directions couldn't find another nether fortress at all i just now stumbled upon this one which is like my fifth or sixth time branch out in different directions uh finally ran across one and here it does indeed have nether warts so um that's very good news because now i can gather this up um i already took the other side out um, so now we can start doing some brewing, uh, get some fire resistant potions so we can take out that, turn that blaze spawner into, uh, that's closer to the portal, um, into a nice little blaze farm and whatnot. Uh, so I thought what I'd do is right now, we'll, well, I took one side, now I need that is, this is kind of where I found the, um, uh, this nether fort that I was way down and had to pillar up and then dig through to, find out where it was because all I could see was a pillar going into the sky. Uh, let's make a few torches if I can. Kind of light this up because I don't really uh, need to do a lot of exploring here or you know this is kind of far away so this is for now just going to be some place to quickly explore. just thought I'd bring you through this see what we can find here. This is a, a really nice fortress. Um, oh, you know, let's do this. You know, I use the mini map and I still keep forgetting to set waypoints. So let's do that right now. See, we have one for the portal, but not for the other nether fortress. So I forget to do that. So let's do this one. Fortress two. So now, I'll be able to find it again and we'll basically, um, depending on how good this turns out to be, we will, what's it in it? We will, um, you know, make a train track and what railway to here so we can explore it more, maybe use this as a, a farm area. Here's another. It's just so weird when you come to these and they just go to nowhere. Let's see what can we go and explore this one really quick let's go down a few torches so we don't get completely lost yeah I know what that whoa back up ran into a bunch of those guys let's get close enough to make a nice little bridge across here Yeah, I see you. And got a nice bow ready for you. It's not like there's two of them now. Ready to go. There we go. Took you out. Okay, let's get a little safety railing on this side. Okay, watch our footing. You never know where these stupid things are going to... Just trail off into nothing. Look over there. There's a whole bunch of nothing. That's 
Okay, this goes nowhere. Hmm, but we do hear some blaze, so makes me think. Oh, there's a guy right there. Of course, he could have just spawned, but I don't think they spawn. Just out in the greenery. I they only spawned near fortresses, and maybe they are. Maybe there's a spawner just really close to here. Keep it out, see what else we see. Don't get too far out. Is that another pillar right there? Nah, it's just void fog. It's hard to tell here. As I was saying in the uh, the first recording that got lost, is uh, unfortunately um optifine it doesn't work on my mac i guess you know it's not working for a lot of people um so it's really hard to see you can't uh can't like you know get rid of the, the fog but now let's grab a little bit of this i've got quite a bit of nether quartz i've actually through my travels just even stopped uh, digging some of it up i just had so much so it's still Cause I was really just whoa, did not want to fall down there. All right, let's go back to where we came from. Which was where? Okay, I think we're gonna need a sword a little bit more, and we're gonna need pick right now. Let's see what we've got popping up here. Let's just follow this down and see where we go. And I've run across uh, a couple nether or wither skeletons, not nether. Um, and killed a bunch. Was this where I came up? Hmm. Um, but still, I haven't got any heads at all. My sword um, is only looting two. And what I've learned or experience from uh, another server that I'm on is that even with looting three, getting a skull from these guys is really tough. I've killed quite a few. This is a nice fortress, isn't it? It's like it's going to expand out in a lot of nice, a lot of nice directions. Hey, buddy. Where'd you deal to? Come on back. Are you getting or did you go away? Oh, that's a spawner. Oh, well, that's a good news. Well, it's good news in general. It's not good news right now because I don't have any fire protection, so I can't really go in there and pimp that guy out. Let's see, let's go this direction, now that I'm completely lost. So this is just a quick tour of here. And you guys have seen the nether before, so I'm not showing you anything you haven't seen. But still, it's just kind of nice to see how different maybe they can be. Definitely, uh, in some some interesting architecture and you know see here's even more <laughs> this is what's nice i mean the first one i came across had nothing now so far this one's got two different because yeah, i went that way this little balcony has two different sections so that's good so this will probably end up being the uh I really hate those things. I like little traps. Let's see, is that where it just came from? I think it is. Let's see what we. Another dead end. A lot of these, but still, this looks like a very big uh, fortress. So um, we've got this one marked off, marked off with that uh, 
the marker. Let's go back up. Uh, I'm not going to make you guys wait for me to figure out how to get back home again because I think I'm uh, at least a thousand blocks away from the portal. So it's going to take a bit, but uh, we will maybe between now and next time. Well, uh, can I use a little extra magma cream? No, oh, come on, give me something. Yeah, we're going this way. Yeah, this is a nice, looks like a nice size fortress. Okay, well, let's see. I've got the nether wart. I've kind of got you guys up to date. Uh, mm -hmm. I've got one is here. I've got a whole bunch of. Of nether quartz, as I said. Oh, look at these nice collections of glowstone. Um, real quickly, go over my inventory. Well, let's get under some shade here, just in case guest or somebody pops up. Let's get down here towards the end. I, I'm going to make my way back home, back to the portal. I think I need. Okay, so what I just give you an idea what I came in here with. I originally had this nice uh, pickaxe, and as you can see, I pretty much wore it out through my travels. Um, so I went back and and made another one, and this is all I got. But uh, just from, I mean, I did kill a few mods, but just from uh, mining nether quartz during the last session, I ended up with uh, forty levels. So that was uh, kind of nice. And as you can see, I got. I got tons here. I've already um, packed that up. You know, let me get back home and I'll show you the uh, the collections I got from last time too. So let's do a, uh, a pause here and uh, we'll be right back in our back in our home base and show you the goodies from last time. Alrighty, we made it back. It turns out that the second nether fortress that I found was uh, only a about 500 meters away, so I mean it's still quite a ways in the nether and definitely a long ways in the overworld. Um, but I guess it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was like a thousand or so away. But uh, anyway, so here's what we got uh, from this hall. Let's start up here. Um, I thought I had more nether brick than this. I must have placed it somewhere else and didn't realize. But that's a few stuff there. I mean that's obviously nothing. Here's where all my goodies are. So I end up with uh, four, you know, four and a half stacks of nether blocks of nether quartz, um, plus some individuals, a decent amount of glowstone. Again, I wasn't really on a super glowstone trip, so I didn't go out of my way to uh, go to places and get all of it I saw. There was one section that I recorded um, that got lost. There was a huge section of glowstone uh, it was easily two or three times the largest size I've ever seen of, of any other glowstone patch. And I thought that was neat and I recorded it and of course I got lost. Uh, there's our nether wart that we found. So now we're starting doing some brewing and um, got some good magma cream, magma cream here. A couple gas tears. Uh, took out a bunch but you know as gas do they fly over. Uh, lava and stuff like that where you can't get to them so you lose a lot. But uh, I thought three was pretty good. And again, I wasn't on a, a blaze hunt that much. I just took out the few that were kind of in my way. So I got three, which one is obviously enough to uh, to make the brewing stand. Um, also, I need to, uh, now that I've got these, start uh, collecting and hunting endermen so we can find the stronghold and uh get to the end and kill the dragon and mainly so we can set up an Nidderman farm and, and start getting some uh, pearls so we can start driving around a lot easier both in the overworld and in the nether. But uh, let's see there's that and then down here I I don't know why I need all the soul sand. Um, you need some of it for the growing the nether wart but and then I got a bunch of this here which I guess you have to bake it. I tried just sticking it in you know, a 4x4, four four, a 9x9 nine nine furnace, and it didn't do anything. Uh, yeah, you have to bake it to get the, the nether brick out of it. Let me get... Just let this go for a second here. Oh, nether bricks, then you use those to make the 
larger things. Okay, let's go. Let's put, oops, wrong one. Well, that's gonna go into that one. Not sure why we'll do bricks alone. But anyway, so uh, that's kind of the abbreviated trip. Oh, let's do one last thing just to show you something else I'm gonna do probably um, offline and just show you the results afterwards. It's in here in my skeleton farm is where I did all the pre-nether trip leveling up. Uh, I must have leveled to 30, oh, I don't know, six or seven times. But uh, I've got uh, way too many arrows especially with the infinity bow and way too many bones. Um, now that we have hoppers, which I haven't done in here yet, and by leveling up, I get so much supplies, there's really no sense in having this uh, pressure pad here to where I can stick it on automa automated harvest mode. Um, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to raise up the crusher a bit. It's probably more like right there so that uh, I can still just sit here and farm these guys and kill them, but then have it set up so that the drops will go into a hopper, and then uh, we'll do a little separation mechanism so that it'll automatically um, put the bones, the arrows, uh, bows, and I guess whatever else um, in different chests. That way, as I'm leveling up, things will go where they need to be, and I can just go and grab them, and that way I don't have to worry about them in here by hand myself and also then I won't need this uh, mechanism which I showed in an earlier episode um, to where I have the the redstone um, wiring underneath here to do the timing and whatnot for the crusher and, the, and flipping the switch and instead what I'll have is a, a button with a appropriate timer um, so that these guys will get crushed um, and then I can just like one hit them. Right now I flip it and I count to like uh, 13 of the crushing sounds. And then after that, um, they're like one hit. And so that way, you know, right now I have to time it myself and it'd be easier if I just push a button and then have a timer loop go through and do that for me. So we're gonna end this now. Let's uh, just do real quick here so you can get any goodies off of that guy with the sword. I don't think we got anything, did we? Check my inventory. No. You know, I don't know. Looting too just doesn't do much good, does it? I mean, I got nothing good there. All right. Anyway, I think that's uh, is this turning night here. I think that's going to do it for now. I uh, thank you for watching and uh, hope you somewhat enjoyed this episode. I know it wasn't uh, what I was expecting, um, but at least we did get to do a little dance there over there. Uh, we accomplished what we what us out to do and so hopefully the other things now we'll start to from the parts from the supplies we got we'll start to do other nice adventures and builds anyway so until next time have fun <laughs>